Welcome to the Three Systems blog. My name is Jonathan Parr, EDS specialist and physical therapist here at Parr PT in Austin, Texas. Today I want to tell you about the top five things that you need to know about EDS. But first, what is EDS? Well, we know that EDS stands for Erlos Danlos Syndrome, and it's a genetic connective tissue disorder that affects the connective tissue throughout the entire body. It could be the skin, it could be the joints, even the internal organs. With all that being said, let's take a look at the top five things that you need to know. The first thing you need to know is the term hypermobility syndrome. Essentially what this means is that the joints in the body tend to move too much. The issue is that the connective tissues, because they're too stretchy, don't provide the right stability in the body. This results in chronic pain, recurrent injuries, subluxations, and even dislocations. The second thing we need to understand is autonomic dysfunction or dysautonomia. We have our autonomic system that regulates our entire body. So we have our sympathetic system or our fight or flight response, stress response, and we have our parasympathetic system, which is our rest and digest. Typically what you'll find is that the sympathetic side is a little elevated, resulting in issues with heart rate, breathing, and even GI function related to POTS, chronic fatigue, and even chronic pain. Number three is vestibular dysfunction. So this system actually lies in your inner ear and is responsible for spatial orientation, awareness, balance, and even eye reflexes. The reason this is so important because this system is involved with dizziness, vertigo, car sickness, and even recurrent injuries. Now number four includes GI dysfunction or gastrointestinal dysfunction. Common issues include constipation. Now with constipation, we have inconsistent bowel movements throughout the week. Typically, we want them to happen daily. We may have some abdominal pain, and we also may strain to actually pass the bowel movement. The second one would be irritable bowel syndrome. So typically, what we'll find is there's going to be some inflammation in the stomach. Things are going to pass a little bit too quick, and essentially, you can go back and forth between constipation and IBS. And lastly, number five, we have different types of EDS. 13 to be exact. Having an understanding of these different types gives you guidance and direction on where to go as far as your recovery. Also, keep it in mind, you will not fit a protocol. So even if you have the same type of EDS as your friend, your experience will be completely different. It's important to understand that you need an individualized program to better prepare you for what's to come regarding your journey to recovery. We all understand that EDS is extremely complex. And these five categories are just the beginning to understanding what EDS is really about. So if you, a friend, or a loved one are experiencing any of these symptoms, please click on the link below, www.parpt.com, for more information.